So it's a pleasure to be with you today. We're going to talk about implant supported cantilevers and give you my perspective on it as a periodontist. Um, I understand many of you are from um, Brisbane. You should recognize this photo, yes? So this is Story Bridge in Brisbane. Uh, apparently this is the largest cantilever bridge in all of Australia. I think if you go outside of the dental realm and you talk to folks about cantilevers, they'll be thinking more bridges than they'll be thinking about dental bridges, perhaps. So when we talk about cantilevers, to be quite honest, it's one of those um, extremely useful concepts that I always wonder why I don't use it more in my practice. And I may be letting the cat out of the bag as far as what we're going to be talking about today, but I think that it is for both the surgeon and the restorative dentist, um, it's a concept that offers many advantages to patients, to ourselves, to our labs. And so along with the review of the literature, we're going to uh, look through a few cases and see if uh, indeed this is something that we can uh, recommend to our patients with some degree of solid footing. What we will not be discussing today is cantilevers and full mouth rehabilitations, at least I won't. Uh, this is, as you know, an entirely different concept and really deserves its own two days um, uh, as far as a, a discussion. I'm co-director of the San Antonio Study Club. Uh, we have the proud distinction of being one of the five original ITI study clubs. Uh, so we've been doing it for a really long time. My co-director is Dr. Jason Gillespie, a prosthodontist. And so this presentation that I'm giving you today with a few updates is basically born from that discussion because I had a case that I was running by him and a few other prosthodontists that you'll see here in a little bit. Um, and we thought, you know, this is a great discussion to bring to our study club. This is an area that we don't talk about a whole heck of a lot.